एम सी के नंबर फिफ्टी सेवन इन द फिफ्टी सेवन क्वेश्चन यू आर गिवन एक्स बिलोंग्स टू आर एक्स डज नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो एक्स डज नॉट इक्वल टू वन एज वेल एज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ अ फंक्शन इज गिवन वन अपॉन वन माइनस एक्स एक्स डज नॉट इक्वल टू वन दैट इज ऑलरेडी गिवन इन टू द क्वेश्चन एज वेल एज यू आर गिवन एफ एन प्लस वन ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू एफ जीरो ऑफ एफ एन ऑफ एक्स Now here you are given n is equal to zero, one, two, up to infinite. Then we have to find the value of the function. Now, if I put n is equal to zero in this equation, so it gives you zero plus one, that is f one of x, that is equal to f zero. We are putting n is equal to zero here, f zero of x. Now first I put the definition of f zero of x here, so I get f zero of one upon one minus x. Again, in the bracket you are given one upon one minus x. So in the definition of the function f zero, you have to put one upon one minus x at the place of variable. So at the place of x, in the definition of the function, I am putting this whole term. So that is equal to one upon one minus one upon one minus x. Remaining terms remains as it is. Now taking LCM, so it gives you one minus x upon minus x. If I take the LCM, one and minus one will get cancelled. So it gives you x minus one upon x, removing minus sign from the numerator. So this is f one of x. Now again, I am putting n is equal to one. So if I put n is equal to one, I will get f two of x that is equal to here n is equal to one. If I put f one of x, f zero is fixed here. So at the place of n, I am putting one. So that is f one of x. Now we already found f one of x. So that is f zero as it is, x minus one upon x. Again, same process in the definition of the function f zero at the place of the variable. I am putting the bracket. So that is one upon one minus x minus one upon x. Again, I am taking the LCM and denominator to denominator goes into the numerator. I will get x only because uh, x minus x will get cancelled. One more thing: if I put n is equal to two in this equation, so I will get f three of x. So in this one, again, I am putting n is equal to two, so that is f two of x. Now f two of x that we already have that is equal to x here. This is f two of x. So this is f zero of here f two of x that is equal to x. So at the place of f two of x, I am putting x. So I can say that f three of x is equal to f zero of x. In general, according to this term. In general, I can write f three n of x that is equal to f zero of x. If I put n is equal to one, that is f three. If I put n is equal to two, f six of x again I will get f zero of x. So basically, we got f one of x that is equal to x minus one upon x. As well as f two of x that is equal to x, as well as f three n of x that is equal to f zero of x. Now, in the question, you are given to find the values of the function. That is, we have to find the values of f hundred of three plus f one of two by three plus F two of three by two. Now here you can see that 
we can easily find the value of f1 of 2 by 3 since we have f1 of x so it doesn't matter we can easily find the value of f2 of 3 by 2 since we have the definition of f2 of x but we don't have the definition of f100 so what i do i am using this result i am using this result so f100 of x first i will find this now 100 i can write in this form 3 into 33 plus 1 of x now basically this term it is of the form 3 n plus 1 or I can say this whole term as n 3 into 33 I am taking this whole term as n so f of n plus 1 using this property here f of n plus 1 that is equal to f 0 of f n n is equal to 3 into 33 that is 99 of x now 99 again I am repeat 3 into 33 that is 3 into 33 I can write now it is of the form f 3 n of x so this is of the form f 3 n of x so that is f 0 of x again I am repeating again I am repeating since we have to find f0 or f100 of 3 to find f100 of 3 first i will find the definition of f100 of x now what i am doing now express this 100 in the form of n plus 1 so i can use this result so that is 99 plus 1 so f n plus 1 that is equal to f n plus 1 that is equal to f 0 of f n that is f 99 of x now this f 99 basically it is of the form 3 n so it is f 3 n of x so at the place of f n of x I can write f 0 of x due to this result f 0 of f 0 of x that is equal to f 1 of x so I got this value that f 100 of x is equal to f 1 of x so the definition of f 100 of x that is equal to x minus 1 upon x now put the value according to the question x is equal to 3 here x is equal to 2 by 3 in the definition of f1 x is equal to 3 by 2 in the definition of f2 you will get the answer then after question number 59 mcq number 59 in 59th mcq you are given that a function is greater than 25 and the definition of the function is given greatest integer of x square plus x square greater than 25 now we know that x minus box x that is equal to fractional part of x the first thing so at the place of box x I can put x minus fractional part of x so I putting the value here so that is x minus fractional part of x the whole square plus x square greater than 25 expanding normal formula square of first term minus 2 first term into second term plus square of the second term plus x square greater than 25 now x square plus x square that is 2x square minus 2x into fractional part of x plus square of the fractional part greater than 25 from the first two terms I can remove 2x as common 
so when i remove 2x as common in the bracket there is x minus fractional part of x remaining terms as it is now when you put x minus fractional part of x so again i am using this term or this result so here i will get box x now as we all know that the range of the fractional part of x is between 0 to 1 including 0 if i square it doesn't matter range remains as it is here the term is given square of the fractional part so i can write there is only greater than there is no greater than or equal to so the maximum value is less than one of this term so i can write this is greater than 24. so now this two goes to the right side so x minus or x into box x that is greater than 12 so this property satisfies only and only when x is greater than or equal to 4 or x is less than or equal to minus 4. From this result you have to check one by one options. Whatever the options you are given you have to check one by one option. Whatever the option satisfies this condition which is your correct answer. This option satisfies the condition so it is the correct answer. Then after Question number 63. In the 63rd question, you are given x is equal to 1, 2, 3, up to 10. This is one of the set x is given. Set A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we have to find set B such that a minus b is equal to singleton set 4. Now, here a minus b is equal to singleton set 4. First, let me understand. a minus b, so here set a is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 minus b. Now, I have to put the elements of the set b such that the answer is singleton set 4 and it is possible only and only when 1, 2, 3 and 5 will get cancelled, will get removed and it is only possible when you have set B is equal to 1, 2, 3, 5. So when you uh, apply the operation of the difference on these two sets, 1, 2, 3, 5 common that will get cancelled, the answer is 4. Also, there are possibilities that 1, 2, 3, 5, 6 as a set B I can take. Or 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7 as a set B I can take. Or 1, 2, 3, 5, 7 as a set B I can take. In each and every possibilities, 1, 2, 3, 5 must be there. This is necessary that 1, 2, 3, 5 must be the members of set B then and only then a minus b is equal to singleton set 4 now we have 10 members in set x 4 we cannot take so 6 7 8 9 10 total there are 5 members i can put one by one or uh, there are two members or three members you can put there are so many possibilities so what we do now so for that we are using the result of combination as we all know in the binomial theorem that n combination 0 plus n combination 1 plus n combination 2 up to n combination n that is equal to 2 rest to n this result now we have five members if I select none of the member out of this five members, same result will come because 1, 2, 3, 5, if I subtract from set A, singleton set 4 comes. This condition must satisfy. So I am not selecting any of the member out of this five numbers. So that is 5 combination 0. 
if i select out of this five numbers only one member and put the one member here so same result will come so that is five combination one similarly if i select any two numbers out of this five numbers same result will come suppose if i put one two three five seven eight a minus b is equal to four one two three five nine ten a minus b is equal to four comes i cannot remove one two three five similarly i can take three or i can select three numbers from this i can select four numbers from this i can select all the five numbers from this and call that set b now if you compare this term with the above result the answer will be 2 rest to 5 then after question number 70 in the 17th question 70 17th question you are given 0 less than x less than pi and we have to find sin 8x plus 7 sin 6x plus 18 sin 4x plus 12 sin 2x upon in the denominator you are given sin 7x plus 6 sin 5x plus 12 sin 3x now now in the first thing sin 7x 6 sin 5x and sin 3x 7x 5x and 3x are not the angles given in the denominator so what i do also 8 plus 6 that is 14 8 plus 6 14 14 upon 2 7 6 plus 4 10 10 upon 2 5 4 plus 2 6 upon 2 3 but here what i'm trying to tell i can use s plus s so that is the angle will be 8 plus 6 upon 2 here same s plus s 10 plus uh, 6 plus 4 upon 2 s plus s 4 plus 2 upon 2 but what is the problem the coefficient 7 18 12 12 so what i do i am splitting the terms now this 7 i can write 1 plus 6 this 18 since 6 comes here this 18 i can write 6 plus 12 and 12 and 12 i can remove as common So I am splitting the terms such that the coefficient of the consecutive terms I can remove as common. So here, sine eight x seven that is one plus six plus sine six x plus six sine six x. Similarly, now I am since six comes here, so I am putting six sine four x. I cannot change the question. There are 18 sine 4x. So I am putting 12 sine 4x. And the last term already 12 is given. 12 sine 2x. Denominator remains as it is. Sine 7x plus 6 sine 5x plus 12 sine 3x. Now, from these two terms, none of the number is common. Now, from these two terms, I can remove six as common. So, removing six as common. From these two terms, removing twelve as common. Now, applying the formula s plus s, that is two s c. So, two sine seven x into cos x. Similar formula six two sine five x. Into cos x. Similarly, twelve two sine three x into cos x divided by sine seven x plus six sine five x plus twelve sine three x. Now here you can see that in each and every term two cos x I can remove as common. So if I remove two cos x as common, the remaining term will be sine seven x plus six sine five x plus twelve sine three x, which is same as denominator. So it will get cancelled. So the final answer is two cos x.